doesn't have to be. Coming up on News Center One today, the search over the body recovered. A then missing Rapid City woman found at Pactola Lake after a jet ski to boat collision on Friday night. And the political spotlight on presidential hopefuls Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump this morning, both getting flack but for different reasons. Then love is in the air, a preview of the Main Street Square Bridal Fair, Tuesday, August 18th, 2015. You're watching New Center One today with Jessica Nappi, meteorologist Louis George, and Anya Mueller. Good morning, everyone, in the Black Hills area. A live view of the Hotel Alex Johnson and, of course, Main Street Square. Right beside it, and that's where we find Anya Mueller today previewing the Bridal Expo going on on Sunday. I'm Jessica Nappi. And I'm Louis Dorsch. Thank you for joining us this morning. Jessica, I woke up. It felt like fall this morning, didn't it? It did it not did. feel like August. It felt like something. It was pouring when I woke up, but of course that was in the three o'clock a.m. hour. Yeah, that was but. that was that was those real early morning hours. But yeah, I mean it was cool yesterday, cool today. Uh, we were already seeing some rain showers out there this morning, but it's one of those days. I was telling you this morning. I came in this morning. I was dressed up in a sweatshirt. Uh, sweatpants. Yep. It was one of those days. It's like I just did not want to get out of those. Didn't want to get out of those. Yoga I just pants. wanted to stay in bed. I did not want to get changed. I think that was going to be the hardest thing I had to do all day, but I succeeded. So it's yes. already a win. And you all can too. After you eat your breakfast, brush your teeth. You can do it as well and head on to work. No calling out sick today. No, it's one of those days. It's not chilly. It's just a little rainy, and it won't harp on our Eli Young Band concert later on. No, it will not. It will not. We're, we're going to try to clear it. it out. We'll look at that, but we're, I'm going to do my best. We're gonna clear it out. But yeah, as far as this rain goes, it's one of those days, it's one of those mornings that you just don't wanna leave the house. It feels so nice being inside. Yesterday, it was a cool one again as well. 64 degrees was our high in Rapid City. 53 was the low. Now, stick with me, 64 degrees there. That is the lowest high temperature for August 17th. So does that make sense? This is the lowest high temperature for August 17th. Uh, the previous record was 67 degrees, and that was in 1997. So that was there with 64. And then also at the Rapid City Regional Airport, we picked up over an inch and a half, and that is a record rainfall amount as well for August 17th. Now, all this rain is really not causing any problems. It's just making a, a wet drive, uh, a wet commute this morning. The sun coming up 5.59 a.m., sun going down 7.52 p.m. As far as the current temperatures out there, it's a cool one, just 52 in Rapid City. We're looking at the 40s in the higher elevations, 46 in Deadwood, 48 in Mount Rushmore, 47 in Custer. Then we're in the mid to upper 50s as we move east of the Black Hills. Now, we did see that rain push in last night. It was heavy. We stop this at 10 p.m. You can see it just on the doorstep, ranging all over South Dakota, an upper level low moved through the Black Hills, kicking off some heavy rainfall. That quickly moved out. The heaviest rainfall this morning we're waking up is in the eastern part of the state. Even they did have a severe thunderstorm warning there in eastern South Dakota this morning, but most of all, it is just rain. However, we are going to be getting the wraparounds effect of this. The heaviest rain has moved off to the east, but this morning, expel, uh, still expect some scattered rain showers to stick around with us. Your Tuesday planner shows 54 by 9 a.m. with some patchy fog, light rain showers, 57 by noon, 59 by 3 p.m. We might begin to see some uh, sunshine by this afternoon, but we'll still have, be having to deal with those isolated to scattered rain showers. Jessica. An update this morning on a story we brought you first right here on News Center One after a four day search. The body of a Rapid City woman missing after a boat crash on Pactola Reservoir has now been found. On Sunday, authorities identified 33 year old Gabrielle Fisher as one of two people on a boat that collided with a personal watercraft on Friday night. Last evening, search and rescue crews first located her purse and then her body a short time later in the deep waters of the lake. After three days of searching without a Trace Local Search and Rescue received help from North Dakota crews using new underwater search technology that allows teams to see underwater without the need for repeated man dives to the lake bottom. The driver of the jet ski involved in that collision, Jody Krychik, was treated at a hospital after the crash and then taken to jail on charges of boating under the influence and second-degree manslaughter. 
Prior to the accident, Krychik was recently arrested for driving under the influence. Sources close to the family tell News Center 1 they are very grateful Fisher's body has been found. And a U.S. Army skydiver who had served five tours of duty in Iraq and Afghanistan died Sunday from injuries suffered in a mid-air collision with another jumper during a stunt at the Chicago Air and Water Show Saturday. Sergeant First Class Corey Hood of Cincinnati lost consciousness before hitting a building and falling to the ground. The 32-year-old was pronounced dead at Northwestern Memorial Hospital. The Army Golden Knights and Navy Leap Frogs parachute teams were performing at what is known as a bomb burst when the collision occurred. A Golden Knights spokesperson says Hood was knocked unconscious, which, quote, resulted in an uncontrolled off-site landing. The Golden Knights were set to perform at the Dakota Thunder Air Show on Sunday here at Ellsworth, I'm sure many of you know, but those plans were altered after the Chicago incident. The accident is still still being investigated. And wildfires continue to rage across the West, the worst right now in central Washington state. This video was shot from a boat on Lake Chilean, showing just how close those fires are to the buildings along the shore. The fire has already charred more than 155 square miles and destroyed an estimated 75 homes and businesses. About 900 firefighters are battling the wildfires. They are trying to establish a line to keep the flames from reaching downtown Chilean. And more top news across the nation still to come. A political roundup as the campaign trail heats up. You're watching News Center One today. Stay with us. Zero, zip, zilch. That's what it takes to lease a new Honda at Rushmore Honda during the Honda Summer Clearance Event. Zero down payment, zero first payment, zero security deposit. Lease a new 15 Accord LX, $254 a month. A new 15 Civic LX sedan, $214 a month. Keep your cash and drive a new Honda with zero down, zero first payment, and zero security deposit. Look for the tents during our Honda Summer Clearance Event. Expect more. Get more at Rushmore Honda. Online at RushmoreHonda.com. The Black Hills Regional Eye Institute wants to say thank you to our local heroes. This month, Eye LASIK is $1,000 off to all military, law enforcement, firefighters, and first responders. Visit our website to take the LASIK self test and schedule your free consultation. We use the latest technology to bring our patients safe, effective, and life changing results. Through September 30th, Eye LASIK is $1,000 off. Visit LASIKRapidCity.com on the risks and benefits of surgery. Improve your vision, live your life with Eye LASIK from the Eye Institute. And welcome back to News Center One today, everybody. 50 degrees right now in Spearfish, light rain falling. We have seen a max gust of 23 miles per hour, so we're dealing with some rain and then also oh, some windy conditions this morning. And then as we head off to the Rapid City Regional Airport, we're at 52 degrees. Continue to see some rain falling, and then today's max gust at 31 miles per hour. Sustained winds right now at 15. So expect some wind this morning and then slowly tapering off as we get later on into the afternoon. So this is what we have going on right now. As you can see, the heaviest rain has moved east of the Black Hills. This is what pushed through late last night. And as it got into the warm and humid air east of the Black Hills, it really picked up steam and they're seeing a widespread amount of rainfall. Some of it heavy. Now, most of this is rain. They did have a severe thunderstorm warning for the eastern part of the state early this morning. But again, it is mostly rain. But what we're going to see is the wraparound effects of this. So we're going to begin to see scattered rain showers to stick with us throughout the morning. And then by the afternoon, we'll slowly begin to see things start to clear out. But we'll be dealing with a more unstable atmosphere by this afternoon. So we'll also bring in some scattered rain showers and maybe a few thunderstorms. So the rain, we're not done with it yet. But for the most part, the heaviest has moved off to the east. Now we are going to be dealing with a little bit of fog this morning as well and that's just because of that system that pushed through just two and a half miles of visibility in Spearfish, eight miles in Rapid City, no fog at Ellsworth, and then seven miles in Phillips. So some, just, be, just expect some patchy fog as you're heading out and about this morning, which might affect some of your travel plans. But as far as your Tuesday forecast goes, well, it's going to be a cool one. 52 just for a high in Custer, 62 in Newcastle, 57 in Spearfish, 61 there in Phillip. Morning rain showers becoming a bit more scattered by the afternoon, but overall temperatures well below normal. Jessica. 
Presidential hopeful Hillary Clinton can't shake the issue. She may have sent classified emails from her personal server. Meanwhile, GOP candidates are, for president are forced to talk specifics on immigration because of Donald Trump. NBC's Edward Lawrence breaks down today's buzz around the presidential frontrunners. And this plan on immigration is just literally gibberish. Donald Trump turned the political spotlight to specifics on immigration reform after releasing a policy paper and giving some details on NBC's Meet the Press. His opponents are critical of Trump's position, but agree mainly on one thing. The border needs more security. How and at what cost is up for debate. No one thinks that we should be building a fence as the solution to security. And so honestly, I think we should put all of our energies, all of our political will over finally getting the border secured. An independent analysis of Trump's plan shows it will cost between 117 to 200 billion dollars to implement. Other GOP candidates think Trump hit the right chord with voters. I think what they're hungry to find out is who amongst the 17 is not just a protest candidate, who ultimately can take the anger and the frustration they have and do something about it. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Meanwhile, the Democrat frontrunner Hillary Clinton tries to stay on message while dealing with issues about the email server she used as Secretary of State. Right now, five different security agencies are reviewing 305 emails off Hillary Clinton's personal email server. The controversy has allowed Bernie Sanders to edge up in the polls. In Washington, Edward Lawrence, NBC News. Thank you, Edward. And job growth and employment also on the political forefront. Kmart employees and Spearfish will have to start dusting off their resumes. The retailer announcing earlier this month that it plans to close the Kmart store in Spearfish, putting 51 employees out of work. The store will begin a liquidation sale on August 30th and will likely shut down in mid-November. Workers will get severance pay and the opportunity to apply to other Kmart or Sears stores. However, those who want to stay in Spearfish should be able to find work. The state labor department lists 801 jobs currently available in the spearfish market. And members of the Oglala Sioux tribe out of work due to severe storms on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation in May are now eligible for disaster assistance. South Dakota's Department of Labor and Regulation announcing the availability of disaster unemployment assistance for tribal members whose employment, self-employment, or prospective employment was lost or interrupted as a direct result of straight-line winds and flooding. Claims must be filed by September 16th. That is just a month away. And not too far down the road, we all know Rapid City has various construction sites throughout town. And after a presentation from the Mount Rushmore Road Group, the Rapid City Council has a big decision to make. The Mount Rushmore Road Group is requesting additional roadway enhancements that, if approved, will cost an additional $1 million. The enhancements include tree plantings, water gardens, and extra concrete requested by property owners along the road. I don't know that uh, it would have an adverse impact to the project, however it will certainly affect the timeline of the project as they're getting ready to start negotiations for the uh, right-of-way for the adjacent property owners and the DOT is looking to get this project out to bid, I believe, by the end of the year. The extra million dollars would be added to the already allocated amount of $5.1 million to the project. And staying in Rapid City after the break, save the date, a bridal fair. News Center 1 Today's Anya Mueller shares all the details coming up on this Tuesday morning. I don't know anything about ads. The trees, perennials, landscaping, I'm your guy. But Midcontinent Business Solutions made it happen. My rep learned about my company, then her team came up with what to say. Midco's crew who shot the commercial knocked it out of the park. We even won an award. <laughs> For a guy who doesn't know advertising, I've got a great commercial. Affordable, award-winning TV ad production by Midcontinent Business Solutions. See our work at midcontinent.biz. 
Light up your home with LED light bulbs from Sylvania and Menards. Right now, they're all on sale. These general-purpose LED bulbs replace a 60-watt incandescent $5.99. This 9-watt LED bulb replaces a 65-watt BR30 incandescent $9.99. Protect your family with surveillance cameras from first alert. This indoor-outdoor digital system features motion-sensing technology. Plus, the full-color 7-inch LCD monitor allows you to watch four different camera channels at once. $199. Save big money at Menards. Hi, your daddy's getting a Camry? Yeah, I went in to have a really fun car. He's the best dad ever. Best timing ever, it's our clearance event. Here, Dad, it's for the car. Who's the coolest kid ever? The truth is, in 10 years, that Toyota will be mine. Get 0% APR for 60 months plus $750 bonus cash on a new 2015 Camry or lease Camry for just $179 a month. For more great deals, visit buyatoyota.com. You've invested wisely. Thanks. Toyota, let's go places. The 17th annual Cool Dad with Nights Classic Car Auction is Friday, August 21st and Saturday, August 22nd, 10 a.m. both days. The auction will be held at the Deadwood Mountain Grand. Come and join the fun. Deadwood Gaming, free concerts, car shows, and nearly 200 of the area's finest classic collector cars crossing the auction block. This auction managed and conducted by McPherson Auction Company. Hope to see you all at the auction. You're watching News Center One Today. Weather with meteorologist Lewis Storch. And welcome back to News Center One Today, everybody. Good Tuesday morning. It's a cool and dreary morning. Really all around the Black Hills, 57 degrees right now in Phillip. They are seeing some light rain showers falling in. They have seen a max gust today of 30 miles per hour. And then as we take a look at the current conditions in Custer, cloudy skies, dealing with a bit of fog, 47. So it's a cool, chilly morning. Expect these temperatures really to only get into the mid to upper 50s, maybe some lower 60s today. But overall, it's going to feel like a fall day here in the Black Hills. Now, what about our temperature Change. So let's take a look at last week. Now, last week on Tuesday, we hit 92 degrees. This week, Rapid City, we're just going to top out at 60 degrees, a change of 32 degrees from last week to this week. We hit 100 on Wednesday. We're going to be at just 72 this week. 91 or 94 last week on Thursday. So 84 this week. So you're going to see a slow rise in the temperatures. By Friday, we'll make it up to 91 degrees. We were at 95 last week, but then quickly dropping it off on Saturday as another front's going to be pushing into the Black Hills with a high temperature of only 73. We can see just how much cooler this week is than last week, a complete 180. Now, as far as the rain goes, here's that heavy rain that pushed through early in the morning. So the heaviest rain is in, is falling in East River. We are going to see the wraparounds of this. So as we stop it later on in the morning at 1030 a.m., Expect some scattered rain showers, some light rain showers to continue to fall as we move throughout the morning. By this afternoon, we'll see a little bit of clearing. Could see a little bit of sunshine by late this afternoon. But again, we are going to be dealing with those off and on rain showers. So we're not done with the rain yet, but the heaviest has moved to the east of us. This is going to stick with us really throughout the afternoon, pushing into the evening. As we're waking up tomorrow morning, we'll start to clear it out. We'll be under mostly cloudy skies. By tomorrow afternoon, a mix of sun and clouds. It's going to be a very nice day. Temperature is going to make it into the lower 70s. So again, it's going to feel like fall tomorrow. And then by Thursday, we're going to warm it up. Plenty of sunshine clear out the skies. Temperatures in the lower to mid 80s. So expect some cooler days with a warm up by the end of the week. Today, Rapid City, we're going to top out at 60 degrees. Cloudy and cool with those morning rain showers and scattered rain showers pushing in later on into the afternoon. It is going to be a bit breezy. Winds out of the north 10 to 20 miles per hour with a gust into the mid-20s to 30s. For tonight, we're going to see a few isolated showers stick around the Black Hills. Look at this. It's a chilly evening. 48 degrees will be that low, mostly cloudy skies overhead. And then tomorrow, a very nice day, a mix of sun and clouds, a high temperature of 72 degrees in Rapid City. The seven-day forecast is going to show A warming trend until Friday. Friday, we're going to make it back into the 90s with plenty of sunshine. 91 degrees will be that high. Then cooling it off by the weekend. 73 on Saturday, 76 on Sunday. Then back into the 80s by Monday. ClickBigDeals.com, the current offer. Well, we don't have one up right now, but what you can do is log on to ClickBigDeals.com and take advantage of all the great deals we have around the Black Hills. Jessica. 
Thank you, Lewis. And if you're walking down the aisle soon, walk on down to Main Street Square this weekend for a bridal fair first. Anya Mueller is live this morning from the square with all the celebratory details. Now, Anya, you were a bride not that long ago and a beautiful bride at that. Huh. <laughs> Hey, good morning, Jessica. That's right. It wasn't too long ago I got married in September. It's been about two years now, and what a great time it was. And a lot of planning is involved. And Megan, you know how it is, the planning of the wedding. So much involved. And this is going to be such a great help this Sunday. You guys are having the bridal fair. Tell me about it. Well, you know, for being an event planner myself, <laughs> I thought I was going to pull my hair out with planning my own <laughs> wedding. So I, I can only imagine what a lot of the local brides are going through with yes. the wedding planning. And we're here to help. Uh, we have this great partnership with Black Hills Bride Magazine and the Hotel Alex Johnson. And we have our entertainment co-sponsors, Naga Bauer Fine Jewelry, um, and also Katie Reisner's uh, Weddings, and she does photography. Um, and so together, we've kind of put together um, Love Squared Bridal Fair, and it's a day <laughs> of wedding fun. You can get all of your wedding needs and, and meet all the local and um, area premier wedding vendors at this, at this show. Um, you can still pre-register, and the first 175 brides that pre-register will be given a special gift. Um, um, when they arrive, all brides will receive a complimentary glass of champagne if they're of age. Okay. Um, and we really will pull out all the stops. We'll have fine music. We'll have uh, great entertainment. Uh, we even have a bridal fashion show at 2 o'clock. And at noon, uh, if you're kind of nervous about what to pack and wear and what's in style for honeymoon, uh, you can see some of the local boutiques downtown do a fashion show as well. Nice. Um, and then at 4, we end things off with a grand prize drawing at the biggest bachelorette party at the Hotel Alex Johnson. Hey. And what does that involve, I'm wondering? <laughs> you have to Lots out. of fun. Well, if you're there from 11 to 4, you'll be ready for a bachelorette party at the end of the day. <laughs> that is true. Uh, and so we'll have great cocktails. Um, there'll, be, um, and there'll be also some fun with the grand prize drawing. So it's a great opportunity to save a little money while you're um, planning your wedding, too. And so uh, we encourage everybody to, to go to that at 4 o'clock. And I know it's, you know, the gals, of course, are doing a lot of the planning for the wedding. You know, but there's going to be something for the grooms as well that day. Yeah, we can't forget about those those grooms. They're right. they're 50 percent of the deal. <laughs> right. So we do have a special grooms room. If they've had enough of some of the flowers and lace, <laughs> they can come to Patty O'Neill's. Mm -hmm. They'll have some specials and some drinks and, and food for for the grooms to kind of enjoy and get a little man time uh, in between all of the girl stuff. So very nice. And then so you can see we're standing just right in front of a lovely wedding dress. Now, this is part of the track the dress program and we're going to talk a little bit more about that with Kayla from Black Hills Bride in just a little bit but Megan you and I we get to like initiate this dress I mean we're going to sign it this morning well right? it's the new trend yeah we yeah. we're believe it or not we're going to ruin this dress and oh. it's all for a good cause okay okay <laughs> so more details on that coming up in just a bit until then Jessica back to you in the studio Thank you, Anya and Megan. And trash the dress. Just yesterday, Lewis and I were talking about trashing jeans. It's all the rage these days. Just trash all of your clothes. But jump on this opportunity this weekend for all you brides and grooms to be. Grooms, too. There's a groom's room. And also at the Main Street Square this weekend, on Friday, is the Big Brothers Big Sisters Golf Ball Drop, where hundreds of golf balls will be dropped from a fire truck for a chance to win $2,500 in cash for the grand prize. And also 16 pin prizes at $100 each. Each. Tickets are only $5 each and can be bought until noon Friday or by ahead of time by going to the big office. And the best part is all funds go to support the children in the Big Brothers Big Sisters programs. And the sporting continues here on News Center 1 today. Justin Wickersham has our sports report this morning. Plus, would you put your child at risk for the love of the game? One, shall we say, dedicated fan and father did. All the details coming up. Don't go anywhere. During the back-to-school sale at Furniture Row, you can score big on dorm room essentials at savings that won't affect their spring break fund. Plus, five years interest-free financing. Hurry, the back-to-school sale at Furniture Row ends soon. Oh, hey, you got one of those insurance apps too? You know how this thing works? No, oh, sorry, not an app, it's my agent. In this moment, no, I'm fine, thanks. It's good to know you have a trusted, independent auto owner's insurance agent who's there when you need them. Great. Man, I gotta get one of those. Auto Owners Insurance. The no problem people. Black Hills Insurance Agency is your local independent auto owner's insurance agency.
We are professional grade during the summer sell down on now at Granite Buick GMC with cash back for 20% of MSRP on new GMC trucks. Choose from the tri state area's largest selection of over 100 terrains, canyons, Yukon, and Duramaxes. Plus, get cash back for 20% of the MSRP on new Sierras. That's over $13,000 in savings. Don't miss the summer sell down on now at Granite Buick GMC. Rock solid drive, Granite.com. When you invite someone in your home to work on your heating and air conditioning, you want experienced professionals with high moral values, like the pros from AirServe of the Black Hills. AirServe technicians are expertly trained to treat you and your home with respect. AirServe offers upfront pricing. They serve by the job, not by the hour. Fixed right promise. It's fixed right the first time, or it's free. For service you can trust, call the pros at AirServe of the Black Hills. During the back-to-school sale at Furniture Row, you can score big on dorm room essentials at savings that won't affect their spring break fund. Plus, five years interest-free financing. Hurry, the back-to-school sale at Furniture Row ends soon. You're watching News Center One Today. Sports with Justin Wickersham. Well, area high school golfers have spent the last week working hard and practicing their swing, hoping to make an impact this season for their respective school. Well, yesterday, 12 golf teams finally made their 2015 debut at the pre-Black Hills Conference Tournament. The golf tournament was held at the Boulder Canyon Country Club just west of Sturgis. Let's pick up the highlights with Tyce McVeigh of Sturgis on the par 4 ninth, hitting this short pitch onto the green. Unfortunately, though, it took him three additional strokes to finish the hole. Moving on to Brett Manson now of Lee Deadwood with his birdie attempt on the ninth hole. As you can see, the ball just lips out and he has to settle for par. Up next now, Nick Lust from St. Thomas Moore, pitching his second shot to the middle of the green. And then he follows that up by sinking his six-foot birdie putt. Now to J.D. Kessler of Sturgis, who does a good job of reading this three-foot break, leaving him a short tap-in for his four-par. And finally to Cole Kennard of Custer, who plays this bank shot to near perfection. He too, though, had to settle for par on the ninth hole. As we take a look now at the final team scores, Rapid City Stevens won the pre-Black Hills Conference Tournament yesterday with a combined score of 315. Sturgis finished second, 22 strokes off the lead. Lee Deadwood was third, followed by Custer. Lane Jensen from Rapid City Stevens was the medalist after carding an even par 72. Meanwhile, in college football, fall camp is underway at Black Hill State University. For the past four seasons, the Yellow Jackets have relied on the arm of quarterback Ward Anderson. But things will be a little different this year. Anderson is gone, leaving Zach Meyer and Ben Shabakin, along with three true freshmen, all battling for the position. Head coach John Reiners addressed the quarterback situation yesterday during media day. Through our first five practices, we've seen good things from all of them, and we've seen things that each of them need to work on. And and as I stated in the press conference, you know, these next two scrimmages, these next few practices are going to really start, you know, hopefully separate some stuff and, and they'll continue to compete. And, and, you know, each of them have things that they do well and, and they have to improve on it. But it's, it's a battle that's ongoing right now and we'll continue to see who's going to be the guy that takes the field on September 5th. And that's a look at sports for this morning. Back to you. Justin, I know that you will get a chuckle out of this story. Baseball mm -hmm. fans will do just about anything to get a baseball, especially a home run ball hit by an all-star. Some will even put their children at risk. Yep. All right, so let's set this up. It's <clears throat> the bottom of the second. The Angels are hosting the White Sox. Albert Pujols cranks out his 32nd home run of the season. It's hit deep to left, back, back, back. And it's there gone. There it is. Okay, now check out this fan. You see him approaching. Yep, check out this fan. Watch him go after the ball while holding a small child. No, yeah, yeah, you got to do it ever. The go tumbling over the railing as he reaches for the ball with I his like glove. Look oh, at that. Oh, he almost has it. He also has it. He can't quite get a hold of it. And the attendant comes over to retrieve the ball, but to add insult to injury. Watch it, this. Yeah. He tosses it to another fan. Ooh, Can you believe that? What's going on there? Ouch. The dejected fan would eventually get a ball for his little one from the broadcast team calling the game. I don't think he deserved that ball after putting his child in danger, but that's just me. No, 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 no. That's the wrong way to think about it. Right there, he's not putting the child in danger. He has him securely 
Se secure right here. He's just reaching over. He's trying to get a souvenir so him and his child no. will have a memory no. that will last a lifetime. That's so father, son, uh, father. I'm not sure if that was a son or daughter, but that's father child bonding right there. That's what you call that. That is not bonding. That is risky, risky no, business, no, not no, bonding, Lewis. There's nothing risk about it. The, the child was upside down. The blood rushes to the head. The things can happen. It, no, it, it wasn't worth quick. it. And it, it just for a baseball. No, you have a newborn, too. This is coming from someone who has a newborn at home. But see, no. Mary Lou, I hope you're not watching right now. No, no, <laughs> it's okay because she was, because uh, the child was secure there, and he was just reaching over. Jessica, okay. believe me, it's okay. Okay, Sorry. would you do that for an Angels baseball, though? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, oh yeah. director Steve so. said yes, too. Oh, yeah, Steve. So you're an Angels fan? Well, I mean, any yeah. any baseball, you, you just got to get the ball. No. Yeah, you just got to get the ball. And then okay. maybe get autographed no. after. It, it, it's, it's something that will last a lifetime, a memory. Only Red Sox, not White Sox or Angels. No, Only Jessica. Red Sox, oh, Pedroia. Anyways, oh, my goodness. It's almost 630. More local news and weather coming up in the next half hour of News Center one today. Stay with us. Just. I got my eyes on you. You're everything that I see. I won't show high love and emotion. internet one amazing discovery is about to change everything midco extreme 1.0 up to 60 megabit per second downloads only 34.95 a month for 12 months online is about to go out of this world from the producers of america's fastest internet click happiestdevices.com Welcome to High Country Guest Ranch, where Western and Native American cultures unite. Spacious log homes and camping cabins wait your arrival in the heart of the beautiful Black Hills. Close to Mount Rushmore and Crazy Horse, it is the perfect place for your Black Hills vacation. The High Country Outdoor Theater is the summer home of Brulee, the number one Native American show in the country. The popular Circle B Chuck Wagon is serving up tasty cowboy dinners and Western harmonies. Come on out for an afternoon trail ride, an evening show, or spend the weekend with us. We'd love to have you. Wedding bells are ringing in downtown Rapid City. Main Street Square, in partnership with Black Hills Bride Magazine and the Hotel Alex Johnson, invite you to the Love Square Bridal Fair on Sunday, August 23rd from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Browse the area's premier bridal service providers, including photographers, DJs, venues, and more. Plus, don't miss fashion shows, prizes, wedding planning workshops, and Rapid City's biggest bachelorette party at the Hotel Alex Johnson. For details or to pre-register, visit MainStreetSquareRC.com. Coming up on News Center 1 today, the wedded bliss for a Mr. and Miss continues, a bridal fair at Main Street Square, plus a look at iconic photos from Prince Charles and Princess Diana's wedding 34 years later. Then Central States Fair fun, the contests and concerts. We've got you covered Tuesday, August 18th, 2015. You're watching News Center 1 today with Jessica Nappi, meteorologist Louis George, and Anya Mueller. Welcome back to News Center One today on this glorious Tuesday morning. And it is a glorious Tuesday morning, Lewis, because the Eli Young Band will be performing at the Central States Fair tonight at 7 p.m. They are one of my favorite country bands. And for yeah. those of you that didn't catch it yesterday, you could be the lucky winner. That's right, News Center One has 20 tickets to give away to their concert tonight at the Central States Fair. The winners are Michelle Robert, nice. Danny Oswald, nice. Paul Sutherland, nice. Corey Shore, nice. Janet Fonder, nice. Charity Lakeman, nice. Tiffany Niger, nice. Kelsey Ball, nice. are you sick of this? Gary Buckingham, nice. and Larray Snyder. Nice. nice to top it off. Congrats to all the winners. A new Center One staff member will contact you with more details. Nice. Should say it <laughs> twice. Oh, yeah. Okay, but you have to give us good weather for this concert because it rained yesterday and it was raining this morning. Mm -hmm. And if this concert gets rained out, do you know who I'm going to blame? 
You're going to blame me. Yes. Father nature. All right, well, let's try to clear it out. We saw the heavy rain this morning. The heaviest has moved off to the east. We are going to be seeing the wraparounds, though, scattered rain showers this morning. We'll start to clear it out, though, by this afternoon. It's cool. Take a look at some of these temperatures. 52 in Rapid City. We're at 46 in Deadwood, 48 at Mount Rushmore, and then 47 in Custer. And then we're in the mid to upper 50s as we move east of the Black Hills. 57 in Wasta, 57 in the Badlands, 58 in Interior. As far as your Tuesday planner goes, well, we're going to be looking at temperatures cool throughout the day. Just 54 by 9 a.m., 57 by noon, 59 by 3 p.m. Expect some patchy fog this morning and then maybe some slow clearing. By this afternoon, maybe we could see some sunshine start to push through, but overall, just 59 degrees will be that high. It will be a cool one with rain showers likely throughout the day. And we'll take <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> Good job, Lewis. This year at the Central States Fair, poultry fun events will take place at the poultry building, but the chickens will not be making an appearance. The Poultry and Rabbit Building will host its chicken contest, where poultry owners compete to see who has the best bird. But due to the bird flu outbreak, the contest will be based on pictures and descriptions only. The avian virus has killed 48 million birds in the region so far. The fair even has an exhibit and it, to explain the virus and its devastating effects. Black Hills Poultry Poultry says they made an independent decision to cancel the live poultry show. And it looks like we're having some audio issues, but poultry fun will still include chicken bingo, a duck pond, scavenger hunt, and coloring contests. Rabbits are replacing the chickens for some of the exhibits. They are all on sale looking for new homes. And speaking of poultry fun, if you caught last night's Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, you were treated to one of Jimmy's favorite games, Egg Roulette. Here's actor Zac Efron testing out his luck. Take a look. We're about to go head to head in a game of Egg Russian Roulette. I have one dozen eggs. Eight of them have been hard-boiled. Eight of them. Four of them are still raw. Yes. You and Zach will take turns smashing one egg at a time upon the top of your head. Oh, I'm just going to go for this guy right here. Yeah. Oh, I know. This one's wet. Yeah. <laughs> I already know it's wet. You know it. I just stuck it in my Give it a good one, man. All right. There you go. I loved this soup before. Good. Oh. <laughs> Do it. Feel great about this one. This one's cool. <laughs> it's a good egg. Now this one feels like something's going on. Something's shaking. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. And if you watch that over in slow-mo, it gets even more funny. And look at this. I found some eggs somewhere um, in the New Center One oh, studio boy. in the fridge. I'm just going to walk it on over to Lewis because uh, he seems lonely over in the Weather Center. So um, I was just thinking, Lewis, I have all these eggs here. And I was wondering if you wanted one if you were hungry. You know, it is breakfast time. So do what you want with it, though. I don't know am what I, you would want to do. Am I supposed to crack this over my head? I mean, if that's what you wish to do, yes. We can play egg roulette of our own. It'll be fun. How about... Jimmy did it. Zac Efron did it. OK, how about this? How about this? Let me do this. Let me think about it. Okay. Give me some time to think about it. Use that noggin. Yeah. And we'll decide later on in the show. Okay. Stick around. I have plenty. Okay, so you have plenty. So like, give me give me a time. Give me a while to think about it, and um, maybe later on. Maybe later on. Does that sound like a plan? Okay. Can, I, can I do that? Think on it. Get back to us by the end okay. of the show. You right, still good. have a little bit less than a half hour, but your full forecast coming up with this man right here, who might crack an egg over his head. Well, yeah, we'll have to we'll see. Have to see. It. It's going to be cool today. Much warmer though, starting tomorrow and getting into Friday. All those details coming up just after the break. Stay with us. Watching new center one today. What if I just put it over your nope, head? Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> hey, where did we go? Days when the rains came. Down in the hollow. Playing a new game.
Distracted driving is a dangerous mistake. Slow down, give them a break. The Rushmore Plaza Civic Center is proud to announce the 2015-2016 Broadway Play Series, kicking off September 29th and 30th with 42nd Street. Be our guest November 9th and 10th for Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Dirty Dancing takes stage on January 23rd and 24th. The series concludes with Mamma Mia on March 18th and 19th. Tickets on sale at GotMine.com, 1-800-GOT-MINE, the Silverado Franklin, and the Civic Center box office. If you haven't been to edible arrangements before, you have no idea what you're missing. Just look. At Edible Arrangements, they make life a little sweeter. Want a great smoothie? Edible Arrangements. How about dipped chocolate and fruit? Edible Arrangements. These delectable arrangements are handcrafted daily. Locally owned and always sweet, let Edible Arrangements make any occasion special for you. Edible Arrangements, located at the east end of Rushmore Crossing, Rapid City. Carly posts, Breaking up with the longest relationship I've ever had. Hashtag sad but true. Good riddance, Carly. Hashtag 96 months too long. Oh, the car. Right. Well, now's the perfect time to head over to the Honda Summit Clearance event. We've got great deals on the Honda Civic, the best-selling car in its class. So ditch that loser. Hey. Still talking about the car. Oh. Hurry in to the Honda Summer Clearance event for a great deal on your new Honda. You're watching News Center One today. Weather with meteorologist Lewis Storrs. And a good Tuesday morning, everyone. Welcome back to News Center One today. Just a dreary, cool morning. 52 degree or 54, excuse me, at the Ellsworth Air Force Base. You're seeing cloudy skies overhead. And then as we take a look at the current temperatures in Buffalo, they're at 52. We are seeing some light rain showers falling there. Winds out of the north at 8 miles per hour. So this is what we're looking at on the radar this morning. Here's the heavier rain with this upper level low. Now that pushed through the Black Hills late last night. That's what dropped the heavy rain. We actually picked up over an inch and a half at the Rapid City Regional Airport, and that was a record for the 17th month, uh, day in August. This is going to continue to move off to the east. What we're going to see, though, is the wraparound of this. So some light rain showers continuing to fall throughout the morning. This is going to slowly move its way off to the east, but we can expect really just some off and on showers as we move throughout the day. So as far as the Futurecast satellite radar goes, here's the system that's going to move off to the east. As we stop it at 10 a.m., you can see we're still seeing some rain showers falling. This is going to stick with us as we push throughout the day by the afternoon afternoon pushing into the evening time still just some scattered rain showers and thunderstorms later on into the day a slight chance of a thunderstorm is possible this is going to stick with us throughout the overnight hours pushing into tomorrow morning we'll start to dry it out on your wednesday temperatures going to get into the upper 60s to lower 70s with a mix of sun and clouds overhead and then pushing into thursday high pressure is going to begin pushing in from the from the west clearing out the skies Plenty of sunshine on your Thursday. Temperatures in the lower to mid 80s Thursday, then the upper 80s to lower 90s on Friday. So we're going to quickly warm it up as we move throughout the week. As far as the Black Hills area forecast goes, we'll be at 60 in Rapid City for a high, 52 in Custer, 56 in Spearfish, 56 in Martin, 58 degrees there in Pine Ridge. Winds of the north, 10 to 20 miles per hour. We could see a gust into the mid 20s. Overall, just a cool day. It's really going to feel like fall around the Black Hills. Tonight, we're going to see a few isolated thunderstorms and rain showers. Stick around a chilly evening, though. Just 48 degrees will be our low. Those winds will be dying off at the northwest 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then tomorrow, it's going to be a very pleasant day. 72 for a high with a mix of sun and clouds. Continuing to see winds out of the north. That's going to keep our temperatures on the cooler side until we get to when, uh, Thursday. 84 for a high on Thursday, 91 on Friday. Then temperatures back into the 70s as another front pushes in by the weekend. 73 on Saturday, 76 on Sunday, then back into the 80s by Monday. ClickBigDeals.com. There's no offer at this time, but what you're, you're going to want to do is get on ClickBigDeals.com, sign up so you can take advantage of all the great deals that we have going on around the Black Hills. Jessica. A healthcare giant is showing its support for the community. Avera Health is donating $75,000 to Feeding South Dakota organization. The money will help them reach out to communities through their mobile food pantry, which is the newest program for Feeding South Dakota. It began back in January of 2013 and allows for the timely distribution of fruit, vegetables, dairy products, and baked goods, as well as non-perishable foods. 
and another organization helping the community out by firing up the grill Monday in Rapid City. The Hope Center had the whole block smelling like hamburgers and hot dogs. That's not a bad thing, thanks to the second annual summer cookout. The event was meant to bring the community together for good food and informational purposes. The Hope Center offers a variety of services to community members in need, such as a mail center, hygiene kits, and support. It's not a major fundraiser for us. It's, it's really a time to bring people together. Um, last year, I think we made about $600, which was great because that goes into, you know, the things that we do every day and helps us get supplies we might need or, you know, other programming items. So every little bit helps. And if you're in need of the Hope Center's services, they are located at 615 Kansas City Street. And from the grill to the garden, Chief Meteorologist Bob Riggio has us covered. A look at the greens on this rainy Tuesday morning. At least it's helping the plants grow. Smile. We'll be right back. Send your kids back to school in style without dipping into their spring break fund. During the back to school sale at Furniture Row, you'll find writing desks up to 50% off. Task chairs in three colors, just $29. Super sacks now 50% off. Futons starting at $99. And for the future scholars, all kids beds are on sale starting at $99. Plus a whole lot more, including five years interest-free financing. Hurry, the back to school sale at Furniture Row ends soon. Enjoy a staycation right in your own backyard with a little help from Green Star Campers. Imagine the beauty of the Black Hills in western South Dakota, all right outside the window of your new Green Star Camper. Let our professional sales staff help you get away from the everyday with a camper you and your family have been dreaming of. Green Star Campers has the campers, fifth wheels, RVs, and trailers to help you enjoy your getaway even more. Celebrating 50 years in Rapid City, Green Star Campers. The 17th annual Cool Dad with Nights Classic Car Auction is Friday, August 21st and Saturday, August 22nd, 10 a.m. both days. The auction will be held at the Deadwood Mountain Grand. Come and join the fun. Deadwood Gaming, free concerts, car shows, and nearly 200 of the area's finest classic collector cars crossing the auction block. This auction managed and conducted by McPherson Auction Company. Hope to see you all at the auction. Thursday. What TV chef do you love watching? I love Duff Goldman. Oh my God, it's Duff. Can this 12-year-old secret recipe KO her culinary hero? I've never cooked Mexican before. Yes. New Food Fighters, Thursday on NBC. Sunday Night Football, your ticket to a trip to the Black Hole. Carson Palmer and the Cardinals take on Derek Carr and the Raiders. Sunday night, August 30th. And don't miss Steelers, Patriots, and NFL kickoff. September 10th, only on NBC. Good morning. Coming up on Tuesday here on Today, in a rare move, the U.S. military deployed to help fight those raging wildfires on the West Coast. We're going to have the latest on that situation. Also ahead, are airlines trying to shame you into spending more? The new tactics to watch for when booking your next flight. Then on our Summer of Secrets, can true love really be just a swipe away? We're going to take you behind the scenes at the revolutionary dating app Tinder. And it'll be a mini SNL reunion in Studio 1A when Seth Meyers, Bill Hader, and Fred Armisen stop by. That's when we get started on a Tuesday morning right here on Today. And we're talking true love right here on News Center 1 today as well. Maybe it's not a swipe away, but it's just a Sunday away. The Bride mm -hmm. Fair down on Main Street Square. Annie Mueller will have more details coming up in just a little bit. But first, we're talking garlic in the garden today. It's not only healthy, it's also a versatile plant to add to your harvest. More in this edition of Bob Botanical Garden with Chief Meteorologist Bob Riggio. Bobtanical sponsored by True Green. For all your lawn, tree, and shrub care, along with pine beetle protection, think True Green this spring. Okay, welcome, Bob Botanical Garden. Bob Riggio, uh, uh, Joe Hilberry, Master Gardener. Joe, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about garlic. I'm going to be the student. You're going to be the teacher. You're going to tell me everything that you know about garlic. Okay, what I have here is a hard neck. This is a Russian red. Mm -hmm. And when it first comes up, it'll send up a shoot that's going to be the flower. Okay. They call that a garlic scape. Mm -hmm. And what you can do is just chop that up and put it in a salad. It has a garlic flavor, but it's not as 
without its garlic, so yes. it's really good in a salad. A little, little milder than the garlic itself. That's right. Okay. And then about this time of year, your garlic's going to start turning brown and get your leaves like that and fall over like potatoes do. Mm -hmm. That tells you it's time to dig it. You get it like this, and then you lay it out in a dry spot like your garage or something. Let it cure. Then you can braid it together or whatever, and you have your garlic ready for the winter. Okay, let it cure for how long typically? Usually until your green part down here turns brown okay. like that, so it's a week to maybe two weeks. And, and, and don't we twist, the, uh, twist the, uh, the stem? Well, we don't have to twist them as much as we do with the onions, with the onions yeah. but a lot of times people cut them off down here and then braid them. And then just leave them in a dark place like your garage and, and you can have garlic all winter long? Yeah, and some people hang them up in their kitchen so it's just hanging there and you have a big fancy braid and you want one, you just pull it off. Okay, how are your potatoes doing, Joe? They're coming along. It's going to be a while before I dig them, but they're growing, too. <laughs> okay. All right, thanks a lot, Joe. Appreciate it. Join us next week on Botanical Garden. Lewis, do you like garlic? Because some people have a taste aversion to it because it's so powerful. No, I love garlic. I love it, too. You know what garlic is also good for? And I will swear by it. I didn't, I didn't believe it at first. But if you get sick, if you start to feel a cold coming on, or you start to feel sick, get some garlic, chop it up, and just eat it eat it whole. It, it, it will get really? rid of the sickness. I promise you, it works. That's what I do every time. Every well, time. It, it really does it, work. Because it overwhelms your senses, so mm -hmm. it clears up if yeah. you're congested a it little works. bit. It works. That makes sense, but this is also coming from someone who puts pickles on their peanut butter sandwiches, so not sure. But after the break, we'll do check in do. once again with Anya Mueller live at Main Street Square. Stay with us on this Tuesday morning. just can't stop talking about Ford. Announcing the Ford Summer Sales Event. Now get our best offers of the year on Focus, Fusion, and Escape. 0% financing for 72 months, plus 750 cash back and no payments until fall. Or choose up to 3,500 in total cash back and still relax this summer with no payments until fall on Fusion, Escape, and Focus during the Ford Summer Sales Event. Here's the church, here's the steeple, Open the door and hear the people. I'm Pastor David. And I'm Pastor Becky. We are the pastors at Calvary Lutheran. Come check us out. And join us to love, serve, and be the people of God. Your everyday banking should never interfere with your everyday life. BankWest puts you in control of your money, wherever you are and whenever you need it. BankWest. Convenient. Connected. Committed your new job with USA Job TV. Engage with the call center team that makes customers smile. Engage with a job where great benefits are only one of the benefits. Engage with us. We're now hiring for call center positions in Rapid City. Learn more and apply at SynchronyCareers.com. That's S-Y-N-C-H-R-O-N-Y Careers.com. Or text S-Y-F-14 to 90206. See all Synchrony financial positions at USAJobTV.com. Joined with Kayla from Black Hills Bride. Now tell me about your guys' partnership with the Square and the Bridal Fair. Yeah, so this is our second year doing the Love Squared Bridal Fair. And um, Main Street Square and the Hotel Alex Johnson, we partner. Um, it takes almost a year to plan. We've got a ton of vendors, and it's just a lot of fun. And it's just a great combination because the Main Street Square is an awesome location, um, beautiful facility, and... Just everybody loves to come to the square, so Absolutely. it's it's a perfect fit for this type of event. And in the summertime, um, a lot of people get engaged, and it's mm -hmm. just 
a time to learn about how to plan your wedding. Yeah, you gotta, I mean, you really have to start thinking yeah. this far ahead. Yeah. You truly do. And now this event is free, correct? Yes, it's free to the public. Okay. Um, there's going to be lots of different things for brides, mm -hmm. free mimosas. Um, if you pre-register, you get an awesome goodie bag. It's nice. got lots of fun stuff in it. And so that's a good reason to pre-register online. Okay. Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun for brides and grooms and the whole family. Absolutely. It's kind of like a one-stop shop here. Now, we're obviously standing in front of this wedding dress. Tell me about the Trash the Dress. All right. So, Audra's um, has donated dresses for brides to take the dresses and trash them in their old season, out of date. So, mm -hmm. they're not new and they're not the actual <laughs> bride's dresses. Okay. But... Um, so trash the dress is a really kind of fun trend after your wedding. You jump in the lake or run around, do kind of like paintball it or something. Exactly, exactly. I just don't think I could do that. I, I know. You know, as much money as you spend on it. I know, <laughs> but you're probably never going to wear it That's again. That's so. be fun. Yeah, and so what we're doing is um, trashing the dress today, and then on Thursday we're going to have um, the dresses, all the dresses that the brides have done. Okay. So you can come out, you can vote for your favorite dress by um, a check, like, drop your spare change in your favorite one, and okay. then all the proceeds go to Wavy. Oh, okay. um, and so it's just kind of a fun event to get the community involved in you know, what we're doing, sure. the Trash the Dress, mm -hmm. for a good cause. Um, but yeah, right now all the dresses are in Main Street Square, so you can stop by and see them and see okay, what the brides fun. have done. So they all did right. a really great job. Awesome. Well, let's well, let's start. Megan, I know Megan wants in on this. We're gonna all, now. What's the deal? We're gonna put in our wedding date, or yeah. what are we doing? We're gonna sign it. Sign and it. Put your wedding date. Okay. And, and everybody can sign it and put their wedding date on Thursday oh, night yes. for our concert. We have okay. Ryan, Chris, and the rough uh, the rough cuts playing, and it's Hard Rocker night. So wear your Hard Rocker oh. blue. Come down, put on your sign signature, dress. sign the dress and put on your wedding date. All right, here we All go right, then. Let's get to it. I got to I got to Oh my, I'm just so much pressure. I got to sign it really good. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to sign away. Uh, but until then, Lewis, back to you in the studio. All right, thank you, Anya. Put your, put your signature on there. I'm going to be looking for it. As far as our weather goes, all right, so I said we're going to be cooler today. We are going to be warming it up, though, as we get later on into the week. So to look at that, we have to go to the upper air map. There's that cooler air following the jet stream, pushing right in over the Black Hills. Now, as we move this forward, we're going to see that cooler air move off to the east. This is going to allow some warmer air to be pushing in starting by late week Friday. We stop it at 6 p.m. We're going to see temperatures in the 90s. Then another cool system moves in. And starting on Saturday and Sunday, 90s on Friday, then 70s once again by the weekend. We'll take one final look at that seven-day forecast coming up just after the break. So stay with us. You're watching News Center One today. We'll be right back. Watch as these magnificent creatures take flight, soaring away from home towards the promise of a better existence. But these birds are suffering because this better place turned out to have a less reliable cell phone network and the videos on their little bird phones kept buffering. Birds hate that. So they came back home. Come home to Verizon and now get 12 gigs for $80 a month plus $20 per line. Verizon, come home to a better network. Check out my new ride. That is so cool. But where is your helmet? Helmets are too drastic for this plastic. That is ridiculous. Playtime. I'm okay. He's made of plastic. You're not. Play it safe. Always gear up for your next ride. Dear Merry Maids, please clean the kitchen. And the cabinets. And the floors. And the chairs. And I wish you could clean the dog. <sighs> Colin is now feeding himself. Thanks, Megan. Hi, Megan. No worries. We got it all cleaned up. Let's hope Colin gets past the spaghetti flinging stage soon. Till then, we've got you covered. See you next time. Merry Maids. Wedding bells are ringing in downtown Rapid City. Main Street Square, in partnership with Black Hills Bride Magazine and the Hotel Alex Johnson, invite you to the Love Square Bridal Fair on Sunday, August 23rd from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Browse the area's premier bridal service providers, including photographers, DJs, venues, and more. Plus, don't miss fashion shows, prizes, wedding planning workshops, and Rapid City's biggest bachelorette party at the Hotel Alex Johnson. For details or to pre-register, visit MainStreetSquareRC.com. 
Welcome back to News Center One Today, just minutes until the Today Show. But until then, we've had these eggs sitting in our studio the entire morning, and I've just been waiting for Lewis Dorch to do something. All 18 of them, it's a family pack. Just pick one, and if you want to pay, uh, play egg roulette, now's your chance. Okay, so you were telling me the reason we're doing this, for those, those of you who don't know, Jimmy Fallon last night. So the last night was Zac Efron. With Zac Efron. So he, they would, there were eggs that were boiled and they'd crack them over their heads. Yep. So you, what you're telling me All is the you, cool kids are doing So what it you're is telling, what telling me is you. you want me to do this on my head. This yes. is what you're telling me. Yes. It's not an egg roulette. It's just egg. Do it. All right. Here do we go. Do it. Ready? Do here we go. Here we go. Do it. All right. Do five, four, three, yeah. two, one. <laughs> See, did you know what, Jessica? This is what I've actually heard. Eggs are good for your hair because you put a little protein in it and it actually works out. Come on now. Come on now. But see, yeah, you can't do it to me though because this is a new suit, so you can't do it to me. So just, here, let's rub that well, into the scalp. Well, jokes on you. You can't vitamin do it to me. A, All right, let's bring up some web. D and E. Feel those vitamins in your hair. Yeah, feel them. You were having a good hair day too. This is a nice suit here. This was a beautiful dress at one point, if you didn't I know. I am now egg running. Are you kidding? 20 seconds on the clock. 20 seconds. Let's do some What's weather. What's the weather? In my, in my suit. It's going to not be egg-cellent weather today. 60 degrees will be a high morning. Showers and then seven-day forecast warming up in the 70s. You're such tomorrow. a 